Good morning, everyone. Can you all hear me okay, including at home? So I'm really excited to be giving this grammar school a pop here in the temple, as well as sharing this with Zoom. It's you know, a great occasion. And the title of my talk is Happy Bodhi Day and Merry Christmas. So what is Bodhi Day? How do Buddhists celebrate Bodhi Day? What is Christmas? And do Buddhists celebrate Christmas? What is Bodhi Day? Bodhi Day is what we're celebrating today. We're commemorating the day that Siddhartha Gautama experienced their enlightenment and the ending came from the top of the Buddha. Siddhartha so was a prince who left his palace and family because he wanted to understand why people suffer and how to be free from suffering. First, he became an ascetic, which means that he studied and meditated while enduring physical pain and he practically starved himself. One day, a young girl, Sujata, saw that he was almost dying and offered him a bowl of rice. Siddhartha accepted it and realized that rejecting food and depriving his body was not the path to inner liberation. So he ate the rice, drank water, and bathed in a river. From then on, Siddhartha encouraged people to follow the path of balance called the middle way. Siddhartha determined, sat under the Bodhi tree, and attained deep concentration. He was able to banish Mara, an evil demon, which represents human wants and desires. And he finally saw the answer to the questions of suffering that he'd been seeking for so many years. On December 8th, approximately 2,549 years ago, at age 35, in that moment of pure enlightenment, Siddhartha Gautama became the Buddha. He who is awake. Looking at life with this enlightened mind, Sakamuni Buddha now overflows with inner strength and confidence. So, with this enlightenment and the Dharma, his teachings have been passed down through numerous unbroken lineages of teachers and spread to many countries, first within Asia and now to the United States and throughout the world. So the next question, how do Buddhists celebrate Bodhi Day? Of course, here at the Buddhist Temple of San Diego, we're doing so right now, which is a special service. Around the world, celebrants traditionally light candles or string lights around altars and temples, signifying enlightenment to 30 days following Bodhi Day. Many Buddhists also decorate a tree with colored lights to, com to commemorate the Buddhist Muslim experience under a tree. Eating rice and milk is also traditional at this time, as this is said to be the sustenance the Buddha received that enabled him to make his final push to enlightenment. Personally, when I was a kid on December 8th, my father, retired Reverend Laverne Sasaki, would wake us up, um, my, my two brothers, two sisters, and me at 6 o'clock in the morning by ringing a bell. We would get up, then sit and meditate together with only a candle for lighting. Back then, I was able to sit in the lotus position. Those were days are long past. Um, uh, and that morning, we weren't supposed to talk. We would eat breakfast in silence. And that was our Bodhi Day tradition in our household. The next question, what is Christmas? Christmas is a holiday to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, who, according to the Christian religion, is the Son of God. The name is the joining of Christ and Mass, which means the Holy Mass, which is supper, celebration, or festival of Christ. Do Buddhists celebrate Christmas? Um, uh, Laverne Sensei was kind enough to share some different uh, links and readings. And I wanted to share what I gathered from some reading. This is from Buddhist monk Bhante Sudaso. 
Christmas provides an opportunity to practice several aspects of, of the Buddhist path generosity, consideration, kindness, and mutual regard. In particular, the act of gift giving is an enactment of compassion. Another Buddhist, Kate Johnson, says Christmas is a time to celebrate a shared wish for a better world. At Christmas time, believers and others seem a little more willing to try to love each other, to welcome the stranger, to share what we have, and to slow down enough to appreciate our blessings. This is a kind of magic, an ordinary miracle that is absolutely worth celebrating. Um, I like this social media post from the Orange County Buddhist Church last year. Do Buddhists celebrate Christmas? While we don't take part in the specifically Christian observances, many of us do put up trees, exchange gifts, and participate in other non-religious aspects of Christmas. The spirit of sharing, giving, and appreciation is valued in Buddhism, so we may choose to participate in holiday celebrations as a way of promoting goodwill, giving to others, and spending time with family and friends. And I see the... Uh, and you will go on top of the, their, their Christmas, their Bodhi chart, which is really cool. Sean Rossville, a Buddhist blogger, wrote, In general, Buddhists are quite happy with Christmas and have no up about Christmas celebrations. In the Simpsons episode, She and Little Faith, where Lisa converts to Buddhism, Reverend Lovejoy tries to dissuade her by saying she can't celebrate Christmas because Santa doesn't leave presents under the Bodhi tree. Then, after Richard Gere explains that Buddhists believe that those religions that are founded on love and compassion are valid spiritual paths. Personally, I am Buddhist, but my family and I enjoy a lot of Christmas traditions. The Charlie Brown Christmas special, the Grinch, jungle bells at the zoo, Christmas songs, cookies, neighborhood lights and decorations. And we have this tree, which I now like to call a Bodhi tree. According to Reverend John Castro, our Bodhi tree's lights represent the starry sky. The large star placed at the top represents the Buddha's enlightenment at the moment he saw the morning star. The ornaments represent the great diversity of beings all having Buddha nature. The presents under the tree represent the truth of impermanence, and the greatest gift of all is the gift of the Dharma. So we should also have a statue of the Buddha under the Bodhi tree. So the answer is yes, we as Buddhists are open to other traditions and we can celebrate Christmas, as well as Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and other world holidays with full hearts. Namo Amidabhati. Namo Amidabhati.